Ryan on the 20th of March. And yes, back to winning ways. Back to an unhappy Walnut. Thank God. Not Walnut. Because I love seeing you annoyed. I love seeing you angry, Walnut, because you're such a twat. Such a wally, such a dickhead. You weren't good enough. You huffed and puffed, you couldn't blow the door down. Trying to say to the, the having a go at the bloke who has got nothing to do with the three minutes being added on. He's got no, all he does is put the board up, he's fought the fish off. There you go. He might as well be on this wallpaper with a full ball, because this wallpaper takes more of a, more of a, an interest in the game than what that fourth official does. He just puts the ball up and you tore into him. You wanker. You could have played all night, you wouldn't have scored. I know that feeling because I'm a Mill Wall fan, Walnut, so fucking deal with it. After the horror show that was QPR, massive, 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 massive improvement, massive changes in the side. Pierce came out, which I think, that for the record, Pierce is a one league, one league two player, quality servant for the club, and will be very, very well received within the management world within Millwall. Love his heart, love the way he played. But he's too slow. He's not good enough at this level now. Sorry, Pierce, but we love you. Uh, Marlon should have been sort of taken off a long time ago. Matt Lamara comes in by no miracle today. He nearly scores. He's running the channels. He was a breath of fresh air. You know, Billy Mitchell got a start. Brilliant. We looked like we could hit him every time. The passing was good. They knew where the next person was. They're slipping the balls in around the corner. We created chances. Middlesbrough are not a bad side, but they toughed and puffed. They didn't even trouble Bart, I don't think, in the whole game. Maybe twice. But not real troubled efforts for it, to be fair. And the defence today stood for Murray, Wall Murray Wallace came in. He's done brilliant. He's come in. He's done the job he's there to do. Which is steady the ship. Get the ball out. Nothing pretty. We didn't fanny around with it. We didn't get caught, fall over our own feet like QPR second half. We dealt with it, and we and we we in in turn we're dealing with it. We gave our strikers a platform. Midfield was the chasing of Mitchell was amazing. Scott Malone's efforts on the up and down, up and down, brilliant. That bod's come on today. Had one of his better performances. He's hit that cracking shot. That's in all day long. That keeper. Today from Middlesbrough has done, in my, in my eyes, superb. He's made two world-class saves today, the Middlesbrough keeper. McNamara should have scored. But the performance, you can't knock it. Backs against the wall second half. They put on three, three or four players at half-time Middlesbrough. We were up against it. We stood firm. In a nervy shake to the second half, we, we sort of got off it, back into it. And we started making a couple of breaks. Wallace run his socks off today. Done fantastic. Fantastic, and the goal was a carbon cut out of the one at Cardiff away. So, brilliant all round performance, but to be fair, we still do need another midfield, creative midfielder. We still, we desperately need a couple of strikers. Desperately. If we are to get to fill these roles, who knows what we could achieve? We certainly don't look like we'd be relegation fodder. And if you add them additions in a proper summer market, maybe. But money needs to be pumped into. Squad needs to be bigger. I'm looking forward to the international break going in after a victory. And with the introduction of uh, Cornbeef, Leonard and Maloney after the international break. So going into the eight games, you might kick on and finish our eight, eight for seventh in the league. You take that now. Build for next year. Build in the summer. Get some concentrate on the strikers and a creative midfielder. And Millwall, you'll do exactly what we want us to do. And that is compete each week. Compete and put your best foot forward because we don't want shambolic def defensive performances like last week. So the Indian's going to taste it. Brilliant. Soul Town lives on tonight. Get in there, the finale. Can't go wrong. What, what a difference a Millwall win does. What a difference. It puts a smile on your boat race. So on to the international break and then back against Royal from on a Friday. Cow you, Lions!